last time you played a Rose, she was pretty wild. This one, <laughs> equally so. Tell me about uh, playing Rose in, in this one. She's a pretty fiery, fiery character. Yeah, I wonder what the common thread is. <laughs> uh, me. <laughs> um, what do I tell you about? What was the question? Uh, well, this, this character, I oh, mean, how does character. she compare with the other ones, or the other ones that you played? Uh, I think this Rose had a bit more of an un... Like, uh, had more confidence in her freedom and her untetheredness and wasn't going to compromise it. Like, uh, Rosalind Harlan was just bursting at the seams and was looking for a vessel to express herself, but I feel like Rose Gooding just, like, sits in it and take it or leave it, this is me, I can't change anything, and I'm not going to make myself smaller for anybody. Yeah. Um, and they've both been such heroes of mine, like all, I feel that about all the women I've played, like they've all left a little mark in my heart and I'm, I've learned so much from them and grown so much from them, um, so yeah. I love comedy and one of the things I love about seeing comedy films is gag reels at the end. Yeah. Uh, I can imagine this one, if there is one or one to be seen, that there is a, a, a good one to, to come. <laughs> Was there days where you know that there's some gag reel stuff coming? Yeah, there is a few times which, you know, when you get the whole crew's shoulders kind of going, you know that that you, you know something's like right. And when they have to like, you can't kind of every time you come out and try and redo the scene, you'd be like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm gonna do it this time. I've got it. I'm fine. I'm fine. And then you come out and you look at Olivia again, and the both of us go. Um, there was many, many times that. I mean, it was like ripe for being completely naughty. And so we, with all our might, tried to make each other really lose it. That was the game. <laughs> I spoke to your lovely co-star Malachi and he was saying he wants to take acting lessons from Alicia Weir. Do you oh, echo that sentiment? Absolutely. It's like do water off a duck's back with her. She's, she's such a little star and she's so human. And it's such a credit to her parents that they protected her and, um, and she's just a completely natural, brilliant little actress. It's so exciting. Yeah. Um, and she's really fun to hang out with as well. She seems know? to be, yeah. yeah, the times I've interviewed her. Uh, just finally, I mean, com comedy is such a communal experience. Everyone loves to go to the cinema to watch comedy. This feels like it's a kind of step back to traditional comedy and going to the cinema and watching it together. Did you feel that when you were making this film, that you want people to go to the cinema to, to enjoy it together? Yeah, I mean, I felt like that reading it. I was like, oh my God, I definitely, I want, I need this. Like, I need a good laugh. Yeah. And and it's so great that we can have such a kind of buffet of so many different kinds of films and there's so many incredible directors and actors and writers producing stuff. But I, I haven't read a good comedy in quite a while and it's just really good to go and have a laugh and also come out of it feeling really naughty. Um, and I think that's always a good kind of... That's a good... What's the word? That's a good feeling. It's not the word I was looking for, but it'll do. It's a fantastic <laughs> feeling. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! Hey, <laughs> that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey you guys!